Hello guys, this is Shweb Yaku. Our today's topic is Mudarba and Musharka in Islamic finance. So starting with the Mudarba contract, Mudarba transaction is a partnership transaction in which one of the partner provides capital and the other partners provides skill and expertise. Actually, both of these will start a business together. One of the partner will provide capital, investing partner, and the other partner is manager. So investing partner will provide funds and this partner is called Rabbul Mall, the owner of money. And this partner will provide skills and expertise and this is called Mudarib. So Mudarba transaction is a partnership between two partners. One of the partner provides funds and the other partners will provide skill and expertise. Okay, the investor partner will provide the capital injection only. So capital injection will be done only by the investing partner, the Rabul Mall. The Mudareb, the manager will not provide any capital. Skills and expertise will be provided by the manager, the Mudareb only. The manager will not provide any money to the business and the investing partner will not provide any skill to the business. Capital injection is the duty of investing partners, skills and expertise provision is the duty of the manager or the mudarib. And what about the profit and losses? Profit will be shared on pre-agreed ratios and losses will be borne by only by the provider of capital. Actually losses will be two kinds. Losses of money, losses of funds, this loss will be bear by investing partner. So if there is a loss in money, investor partner will have to bear that loss. And if you are going to close the fund, losses of skills, this loss will be bear by the manager. Because if you close the fund, manager will lose its job. So loss of funds will be borne by investing partner and loss of skill will be borne by the manager. However, there is a provision that investing partner can, uh, can take a legal action against the manager if there is a case of negligence. Otherwise, in a normal case, in normal course of business, manager will lose its job. What are the responsibilities of both partners? Manager will take care of business. Manager will take all decisions, including short term and long term. And what about the investing partner, the Rabul Mall? Investing partner will not interfere into daily or long term decision making of business. So this is the perfect example of equity investment. In equity investment, shareholders are the investing partner, shareholders are Rabul Mal. And the other party, the manager, the directors are Mudareb. And both of these will run a business, but obviously director will provide their skills and shareholder will provide the money. And director will run the business on behalf of the shareholders. So the example of Mudarba contract is the equity investment. The investing partner will not interfere into the business and the investing partner has to rely on the ability of the Mudareb. The investor has to rely on the honesty of the Mudareb. Manager 
the investor has to rely on the skills and expertise of the manager that manager will run the business man manager will earn money from the business on the behalf of the shareholder on the behalf of the investor so that's how mudarba works so in a in a summarized way in mudarba one of the partner will run the business and on the behalf of the other partner the other partner will only provide the capital now let, let's move to the musharaka contract in musharaka contract let's suppose there are two partners these two partners are called musharak both of these will jointly run the business both of these will provide the funds plus skills and they will run the business combinedly so the number one funds will be provided by all parties skills will be provided by all partners profit will be shared with agreed ratio and losses will be shared on based of invested capital losses will be according to the investment losses will be according to the investment you have made into the business responsibilities all partners will run the business take the cn jointly so every partner has the liberty to interfere into the business activities so this is different from the mudarba contract in mudarba only one partner will run the business the other partner will not interfere into the business activities but here in musharaka both of the partners if there are two partners uh, there can be more than two partners in musharaka it is more like a joint venture both of the parties will provide the fund and both of the parties will jointly run the business by injecting their skills also so there is a perfect example of musharaka that is venture capital remember venture capital provides the funds and also sit on the board of directors so that means they also provide the skills to the business and other partner is the other partner is the managers manager of the business and management buyout especially they also provide the skills and the funds which they have to run the business so guys there there can be a question in exam that what is the best between mudarba and musharaka so there is a simple catch that is if one party wants to invest and also wants to participate actively in the decision making of the business that party will preferably choose musharaka contract and in other case if party want to invest and want to totally rely on the ability of the manager on the honesty and integrity of the manager that party will preferably choose mudarba contract so that's a simple difference between mudarba and musharaka thank you so much